Okay, welcome to the review section. So when people paid close attention to the president's allegations, they soon saw that these were unfounded, basically. Mm. Um, when people paid closer attention to the president's actions, they just didn't fit. Unfounded. Unfounded. It was a pretty flimsy case, if, if I have to say. Right? Yeah, right. Um, a lot of the things seemed to be a bit strange and, and didn't quite, like, add up. Flimsy. Flimsy. There was a reason for him doing this, right? Well, the president has always promised, repeatedly promised, to increase the agricultural sector. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to do this is scale back regulations and increase the land. Scale back. Scale back. So there's a theory, which is also unfounded at the moment, mm. that the president intentionally burned the land to in, well, increase the amount of land that he could occupy. Right, right. So obviously with agri agriculture comes money. And so therefore he promised certain people of the public that if he increases the agricultural sector, that they're able to get more money. However, this is actually quite bad for the indigenous people of that area. They will be forced out of their homes with nowhere to live as the government, I don't think, will probably support them. Indigenous. Indigenous. So regarding the Amazon, Walter, what do you actually know about the Amazon? Um, why do people say it's important to protect? I believe the Amazon is called the lungs of the world. Right. Yeah, so that means that a lot of uh, air is filtered through the Amazon and it mm. cleans the air, which is great for the rest of the world. However, with this big disaster that's happened, it's wiped out quite a lot. And if we are, or if the president is allowed to clear out more land, this could spell disaster uh, and increase global, uh, well, climate change, should I say. Right, right. How about you? What do you know about the Amazon? Um, well, like you, I mm. know that the Amazon is the lungs of the earth. Mm -hmm. um, and due to it being such a big carbon sink, mm. it, it, it's how our planet breathes. And I'm sure it has some relation to the ozone as well. Mm. These fires cause huge damage. Right. And I, and I think that we haven't really seen the long-term effects of this. Mm. But the Amazon is a very popular place for tourists as well, and I think more or less everybody studies about it. Right, right. And I know that a lot of celebrities are jumping on board to help with climate change and raising right. awareness about climate change. Uh, what do you think about these celebrity do-gooders, and such as Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm. And why do you think certain government uh, officials or presidents or whoever mm -hmm. might not like them? So personally, I don't actually like them that oh, much. Okay. So um, there was a, a popular speech done by Ricky Gervais at one of the, I think it was the Golden Globes. That was last year, right? I think it was yeah, last no. year where he heavily criticized celebrities mm -hmm. for being activists about global warming and climate change, yet mm. flying there on their private jets. Right, right, right. So I think there's a lot of hypocrisy when it comes to celebrities and mm. climate change. They have the money to make a difference, but we don't really see it being put into action. Mm -hmm. And they, they fly all over the world. Right, right. What about you? I, I would have to agree, uh, just to kind of echo what you're saying, is that I think a lot of people like who are celebrities uh, advocating for climate change or any sort of uh, need is kind of a publicity. I think so. In my opinion, just mm -hmm. to get the opinion of other people to like them more. Uh, I think it's good, but then, yeah, like Ricky Gervais said, it is a bit stupid that they're flying from one place to the other on their private jets and increasing the amount of carbon that is going into the air. Right. Uh, as for governments who dislike them, I think many celebrities usually head towards the liberal side of mm. politics right, rather right. than the sort of, I guess, conservative side. And for certain conservative government officials or politicians, obviously without the backing of a celebrity do-gooder, mm -hmm. it might damage their, their run to become president or governor or whatever. Right, I really agree. So that will do it for our review section and we'll see you in the next unit.